The National Book Award in Nonfiction will be presented by Marjorie Garber. Marjorie is the author of 15 books, including the award-winning Shakespeare After All. Ladies and gentlemen, Marjorie Garber. Marjorie. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here this evening. It's been my privilege over the last several months to work with the distinguished authors and critics on the nonfiction judging panel. I'd like to introduce and thank them now. Blake Bailey, Jennifer Michael Hecht, Seth Lehrer, and Sally Tisdale. Nonfiction is the category with the largest number of entries annually. This year we considered almost 500 books, a sign of the vitality of the publishing industry and the energy and brilliance of today's writers. Reading and discussing almost 500 books creates for a judging panel a bond that will endure, a combination of boot camp and salon that was for me and I hope for my colleagues deeply pleasurable. This kind of conversation is what we look for in cultural and intellectual life, a discussion about what matters in writing and in the world of ideas. It's interesting and either odd or symptomatic, depending upon your point of view, that the category of books Americans read most often, nonfiction, is defined by what it is not, nonfiction. The wide variety of books submitted this year included biographies, memoirs, political and historical narratives, books about technology, travel literature, war, animals, religion, music, globalization, the economy, and of course, publishing. Taken together, these books create a portrait of what we as individuals and as a society are thinking, hoping, dreaming, and worrying about. It was impossible for our panel not to notice that the prevailing tone was elegiac. So I think elegiac in a good way. We agreed at the outset that we valued strong and powerful writing, original research, and a sense that a book would merit rereading in future years, both on its own merits and as a marker of the times. The list of finalists I'm about to read represents for our panel the best of the best in a very strong year. Barbara Demick, Nothing to Envy, Ordinary Lives in North Korea. published by Spiegel and Grau, an imprint of the Random House Publishing Group. John W. Dower, Cultures of War, Pearl Harbor, Hiroshima, 9-11, Iraq. <laughs> published by W. W. Norton and Company. Patty Smith, Just Kids, published by Echo, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. Justin Spring, Secret Historian, The Life and Times of Samuel Stewart. <laughs> published by Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux. Megan K. Stack, Every Man in This Village is a Liar, An Education in War. published by Doubleday. This year's National Book Award for nonfiction goes to Patti Smith, Just Kids. Um, thank you, everybody. I, of course, like to thank my uh, publisher, Echo, 
Dan Halpern and all at Echo, to Rosemary Carroll, Lenny Kay, and most of all, Betsy Lerner. I've always loved books all my life. When I was a clerk at Scribner's Bookstore, I dreamed of having a book of my own, of writing one that I could put on the shelf. And when I would have to um, unpack and uh, put up the National Book Award winners, I used to wonder what it would feel like to, <clears throat> sorry, to be a National Book Award winner. So thank you for letting me find out. And, and please, publishers, there is nothing more beautiful than the book, the paper, the font, the cloth. Please, no matter how we advance technologically, please never abandon the book. There is nothing in our material world more beautiful than the book. Thank you.